We'll crowd your gates with thankful songs. High as the heavens our voices raise, and earth with her ten thousand tongues shall fill your courts with sounding praise. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, November 11th. It's the 25th week after Pentecost and week 5 in the psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 79 and Revelation chapter 18, verse 1 through 8. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, source of all being, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we fail to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty God Grant us the forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, O God, the heathen have come into your land. They have defiled your holy temple. Alleluia, Psalm 79. Alleluia, O God, the heathen have come into your land. They have defiled your holy temple and laid waste Jerusalem. The dead bodies of your servants have been given as food to the birds of the air and the flesh of your saints to the beasts of the earth. Their blood shed like water all around Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. We have become a reproach to our neighbors, the object of scorn and derision to all around us. How long, O oh God, will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath upon the heathen that have not known you, and on the nations that have not called on your name for they have devoured your people and laid waste to their dwelling place. Do not remember our past iniquities. Let your tender mercies be swift to meet us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of your name, and deliver us and purge our sins for your name's sake. Why should the heathen say, Where is their God? Let us see you avenge the blood of your servants. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before you and spare those that are condemned to die. And repay to our neighbors sevenfold the reproaches with which they reviled you. So we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture will give you thanks forever. We will show forth your praise to all generations. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O God, the heathen have come into your land, and they have defiled your holy temple. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Revelation to John, chapter 18, beginning at verse 1. After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth was made bright with his splendor, and he called out with a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. It has become a dwelling place of demons, a haunt of every foul spirit a haunt of every foul bird, a haunt of every foul and hateful beast. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, 
and the merchants of the earth have grown rich from the power of her luxury. And then I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, so that you do not take part in her sins, and so that you do not share in her plagues. For her sins are heaped high as heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Render to her as she herself has rendered, and repay her double for her deeds. Mix a double draught for her in the cup she mixed. As she glorified herself and lived luxuriously, so give her a like measure of torment and grief, since in her heart she says, I rule as a queen. I am no widow, and I will never see grief. Therefore, her plagues will come in a single day, pestilence and mourning and famine and she will be burned with fire, for mighty is the Lord God who judges her. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. We thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day. We thank you for all of the blessings that you have granted us. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive us our sins and offenses, that your light may show forth from us. For all who seek you, tender God, that they may find and be found. That your will may be done in all that we undertake to the benefit of ourselves and our families and friends, the church and all people. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend ourselves, one another, and all of our lives to Christ our God. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, <clears throat> now and forever. Let us pray. Have compassion on us, O God, and do not remember our sins. Forgive us and deliver us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.